Hey, hey, how's it going? If you're new here, my name is Jam and I love makeup. And if you're not new, thanks for coming back. I really appreciate you. Today's video is really just a, I think gonna be a fairly quick one, yammering a little bit, playing with some makeups, just enjoying some time with my own self and hopefully you. If you're not already subscribed to my channel, <laughs> Why would you? Uh, now is a good time to do that. If you want, uh, if you click on the little bell and choose all, YouTube will notify you when I upload a new video and you can choose to watch it or not. It's totally up to you. No pressure. Either way, I appreciate you hanging out with me. All right, I'm going to stop yammering. I have to go do sponsorability things. So uh, I'm about to have a very naked face. Brace yourself. <laughs> We're just gonna tuck in. I have no idea what I'm even doing for this video, except that the Blend Bunnies Primal Palette is going bye byes So every, this palette is 50% off with no code needed on the website. So I thought just for funsies, I'd bust it out and play with it today and also use some of my new Davina eyeshadows. So that's what I'm gonna do. I'm just going to maybe yammer a little bit um, I have a very, very boring life, so I don't often have much to talk about, but maybe I can think of something. I don't know. So I think, here, let me tell you what's happening in my head, or at least a tiny bit. I think I want to use this shade right here called Galene, I think, and possibly which is that one which is so funny because looking at them they look nothing like they do in the reflection so it gets confusing but I don't think I've used those two or haven't used them much I haven't used any of these much I have so much makeup um so I thought I would try to play with those shimmers and since the Lynn Bunny has like the purples and the blues and some like pinky red tones I thought I would just play around and do a look with this. And that way, if you were thinking, do you need it before it's gone forever or possibly forever, you could maybe see this and decide what to do. So we're gonna go that lightest purple shade called Winged on this very big Sydney Grace EO2 brush. I busted it out because I was, <laughs> I don't know what I was doing. I don't know if I thought I was some kind of makeup artist, but I tried playing and doing a look earlier um, it was an epic failure for a bunch of reasons. None that I considered when I was thinking about whether or not I could actually pull the look off. <laughs> so, uh, you know, it just, you wash it off and start over. Unfortunately, uh, my sister did stop by, so she saw the hot mess. And before she opened the door, I said, don't panic. <laughs> I know it's not good. So anyway. I've washed that off and now we're just going to play. I did actually go bye byes yesterday with uh, Jackson and Coops Magoops. <sighs> For me, yesterday was the solstice. And usually my sister and I try to do something on the solstice and we didn't manage it last year. The year before we like pulled together a little pool party and had snacks and the whole thing. It was very cool. I'm not sure how we did it, but we did. I know I'm gonna go with exotic, which is the next darker purple. Um, but this, yesterday we just couldn't think of anything. And I know you're gonna be very, very surprised to hear this, but Dallas called me a whole bunch of times and he wanted me to, you know, like order lunch, he'd swing in and whatever. He had a super light day and got his stuff done really, really quickly. So I was like, well, I just ate lunch. I made myself a little half a sandwich. And he was apparently driving by my sister. So he stopped there and was like, hey, what are we doing? Let's go, I don't know, get ice cream or something. So we ended up going to our little summer place here in town, which is finally open. I know I mentioned before in the video where I talked about taking Bub and Jackson out for our little yes day. They weren't open and hadn't been, but they finally opened. And Jackson and I went 
uh, a couple of days ago to get an ice cream. We, we They have what they call tornadoes, which is soft serve ice cream with uh, candies mixed in. And we like peanut butter cups in ours. So that's what we got. We got one and we shared it. And we got there yesterday. The She's not a little girl, but she's, you know, young. They usually hire college kids to run the ice cream thing. And she was like, and two spoons? And I said, well, this time we need three because it's a really big ice cream. And Jackson and Coops were going to share one. I just wanted a bite because I had just eaten lunch. So it's Dallas and my sister and my nephew and me and the boys. We just hung out, had some ice cream. People watched a little bit. And then we decided to hit a couple of the stores that are in the plaza. And then we were getting ready to leave and my other sister was there. She stopped in to get an ice cream with one of her friends. It was so funny. But Jackson and Cooper wanted to go into Ollie's. So we did that and apparently there wasn't anything good in Ollie's. Even though they said they'd let me look at the makeups, if they have makeups there, I didn't get to look at the makeups. And so they wanted to go to the family dollar store. And I was like, well, can I look at makeups there? And they were like, yeah, you can look at makeups there. Uh, do you think I got to look at any makeups? Because I did not. <laughs> I have to wash my brushes today. There are so many dirty brushes here. I've been putting it off and putting it off. So anyway, we went into Family Dollar and they scored a little, uh, Coop Scott, a Lego thing. And Jackson found a Black Panther um, action figure. I think they get upset when I call them dolls. So action figure. And then we went into Rite Aid. Again, I didn't get to look at any makeup. So. <laughs> And then we came home and one of our neighbors was out and he played basketball with the boys for a while, which was really, really nice. We had to come home for a quick fill up the water bottles break. And I asked Jackson if I should grab my pom-poms and he was like, no. And I was like, all right. And he's like, well, I mean, if you want to. And I said, well, I feel like it makes me a better cheerleader if I have my pom-poms. So he was like, okay. <laughs> So we get back and I'm of course sitting there like a lunatic with my pom-poms cheering them on. Now mind you, I can't get to the basketball court because it's like down a hill and pretty far away. So I just sit at the top of the hill cheering them on from there. I have a very good time with this stuff. And I think maybe one day when they remember, you know, when they were growing up, they'll look back and hopefully remember fondly that, you know, I tried to be there for them as much as I could. So I don't know. I, I have fun and I really don't think they mind at all. This is pretty cute. Pretty simple. All right. Now I'm going to go in with that Galene shade, which let me try to show you. Is this one right? Where are you? Right here. So let's see if we can use that. I'm going to use my Singe E01 because I love this brush. You know what I should have done? I should have put a shade down first. It's not too late. We can do that. Um, let me just scooch this off the pile and grab. We'll go in with Exotic, which was that second purple shade. Yeah, this will work. So I'm just going to blend that all over the rest of my lid up into my crease a little bit. That's cute. I have a bullet of fallout. I'm not being careful. Yep. That works. Uh, and so starting today on Thursday, I'm going to start having um, one of Dallas's babies one at a time to just like hang out with this summer, Thursday afternoons. I really can't commit to having um, too many weekdays with them and the weekends. So I figured Thursday afternoon, their mom can drop one of them off here and we can hang out and 
do whatever we feel like and you know we'll just take turns doing sleepovers is great fun but we can really only do one every few weeks <laughs> because there's so many of them and if I want to get a decent night's sleep it's easier without tiny humans in my bed so it's fun but it can't happen as often so this is hopefully going to be a good way to get more time in with them and not lose a boatload of sleep in the process. So I'm going to go back in with the Gawain shade. Well, I don't know how to say it, but I am going to wet it this time. And put that on top of the purple. Oh yeah, that's cute. My eyes are a bit tender from <laughs> washing off the first look, aka mistake. So I'm going to be really careful. And regardless of how this turns out, I'm wearing it. I honestly won't wash off a makeup look unless it's like actually really bad. Like really bad. Otherwise, it's just makeup. It's fun. Why not? This is very cool. I don't know what this multi-chrome shade looks like on camera yet, obviously, but in the mirror, it is so pretty. And if you saw my recent video where Mike rates my makeup, I think he might like this look. <laughs> Ooh, and tonight we're having a sleepover. Jackson asked for a sleepover tonight. He hasn't had a sleepover in a while. He's like, Ugh, can I just tell you so you can sympathize with me and be on my side on this, please? Um, for a very long time, it was me and Jackson. That's it. Like, we didn't have friends. We would go and see my sister and hang out. And that was pretty much that. Um, but Jackson started school this year, public school, because I used to homeschool him. And now he has friends. And the other day, he had a friend over. And I was waiting for him to come out and play with me. Like I was outside waiting. He said he was gonna come out and play and he didn't, and he didn't, and he didn't. And so I say to Momo, Jackson's friends are stupid because now he doesn't want to play with me. And Mike just laughed at me. Who does that? I, I needed comfort in that moment. So yeah, I'm learning how to share Jackson with other people. It's, it's good. It's so good that he has friends and that he's like hanging out with kids his age. I full on love it, but I'm, I've never been ditched before by him. It's always been he and I, we do all the things together. So I don't know. It's silliness, but I am really happy for him and a little bit sad for me. <laughs> all right, let me clean up this mess. Uh, throw on the rest of my face, do all the things, and then I'll come back and we can wrap this up. This wasn't a very exciting video. All right, I'm back and that's the finish I look. Let me zoom you in for an up close at the eyes. Now I'll scoot you out and we can wrap this up. So um, we're all zoomed out. Let me just tell you real quick, I did end up going in with, I think it's called Thusa. No, Paleomon. Wow. This shade right here. It is so shifty. It's like blue, green, pink, purple. I use that on my inner, not corner so much, but the very innerest part of my lid. And then um, I used highlighter on the inner corner. But I think that that shade just matches like my highlight, my lip, everything, which I'll tell you about in a minute. As for this eye look, I love it. If you were thinking about picking up 
this primal palette, now might be the time to do it. It's a stunning palette. It has the six shimmers, which I don't know if this is like the best of the best shimmer formula on the market, but these mattes are so darn good. I mean, you saw how quick and easy they went on and blended out. Literally a minimal amount of effort. I want to say literally just like super easy, but <laughs> and I think the the range of tones and depths in this palette is fantastic. And at 50% off, uh, you just cannot beat that. And then for my Davina, I I love, love, love these eyeshadows so much that this is the shade that's all over my lid. And I'm so excited to have these and play with them. I know they're not super new anymore, but it's just so fun to play with. And depending on what you put underneath completely changes how these uh, multi-chrome shimmery eyeshadows look. So I also don't think I mentioned who I'm hanging out with this afternoon. It is uh, Ronan's turn. I call him Ronan with my homies. Um, so yeah, Ron and I are hanging out this afternoon. Uh, but before he gets here, I have to clean all of my makeup brushes, which is going to be, it's going to be a process. So real quick, my foundation is a combination of the MAC Studio Radiance Face and Body with my Danessa Myricks uh, Color Fix Nudes in Shade 4. It's not a spot on match. I just, I think I'm destined to have the wrong foundation all the time. This is pretty darn close, but because my skin always looks red, even though I'm not like sunburned, it never looks quite right. But there you have it. My concealer is the Wet n Wild Incognito. Contour is like, it's the Kevin Aquan. It almost always is. L'Oreal Bronzer in 350 Medium. The L'Oreal Blush in I think the shade is confident I could be wrong but ugh, these two L'Oreal products are amazing and then my highlight is shockingly enough it's the Blend Bunny Noctilucent palette and I went in with the shade Far Out which is kind of like the Purple, let me see if I can get it to do it. Like a purpley shift that's on my inner corner, my brow bone, my cheekbone, the tip of my nose. I did put it on my Cupid's bow, but I don't love how some of the highlights in the Nocturnal palette look on my Cupid's bow because they are so glittery, it can look chunky. So I just went over it with my Rare Beauty in the shade Exhilarate. This flippin' highlighter. So good and then I popped a little on the inner corner of my eyes too because I really like highlight. <laughs> my lip is the LA Girl Ultimate uh, Intense Day Auto Liner in the shade Keep It Spicy and I went in with a little bit of these Moonlit Metals from Menagerie and this is in the shade Hummingbird just on the inner and it matches like the highlight perfectly. So probably could have used my highlighter or I could have used this as my highlight. It's so fun. I really, really like these. I may have to consider picking up a few more, but not now because I just got these. And um, by the time this goes up, I will have ordered the Cosmic Brushes palette. Hopefully, fingers crossed, they've ordered enough to be able to accommodate the need. And um, Blend Bunny is teasing their new palette, so definitely going to be getting some new eyeshadows. So I probably will have to wait to purchase more of these Moonlit Metal thingies. But I think that's everything. All of the bits that are on my face, and I think I have to stop procrastinating now and actually go wash my makeup brushes. <laughs> I hope that you liked this video. If you did, give it a thumbs up. If you didn't, give it a thumbs down. Either way, I appreciate you hanging out with me today. Be good and remember to be kind to you.